Here we are in Haymarket in Edinburgh. Although it is unfortunately time for us to leave Scotland after spending, was it like eight, eight days, days here? Yeah. Eight days here. No, I don't want to go. But we do have something fun planned, and that is, well, we have Haymarket Station here. But funnily enough, there's also another station called Haymarket. On the Tynanweir Metro. On the Tynanweir <laughs> Metro. It's not National Rail, but still, it's a station, so it counts. So, still, two stations with similar names. It must mean it's time for... Another point to point. So here we are now in Haymarket. So first things first, of course, we're going to have to go to Edinburgh. And well, since everything, pretty much everything calls at Haymarket, we uh, are not exactly strapped for choice on how to get to Edinburgh. So we'll get literally the first train that's going now. Yeah, it's Livingston South, West Calder, Adelaide. Okay. And our lucky service to Edinburgh is this one. Cool. Somehow, it must have been while my camera was in my bag or something, like the first battery that was in it was completely drained, so uh, half of this trip between Haymarket and Edinburgh I've not been able to film, because I've been scrambling to change the battery. How does it feel to be on your final ScotRail train after this trip? Very sad. Me too, me too. Honestly, I'm a fan of ScotRail, honestly. They've, they've had, like, over our entire eight days here, we've had one delayed train, but that was a Vansy. Yeah. And other than today, which has gone downhill, electro white, everything's gone horrible today. But the other seven days have been great. Anyway, yeah, so they're very close. Um, Edinburgh Waverley should be right here. Ah, yes, a totally normal 334 with the numbering. Hmm, they haven't used any numbers from any other things at all. All right, Edinburgh Waverley, here we are. Now, the slight hitch is the fact that we're here about an hour and a half before our train we're meant to get out of here. And also, I'm quite hungry. <laughs> so time for episode two of what we're calling, for legal reasons, the Snack Shack. So, my personal uh, snack was uh, from Edinburgh Waverley Subway. I was going to get my usual order, which was uh, chicken tikka with uh, lettuce, cucumber, tomato and no sauce. Although it appears he forgot to add tomato. Well, I was going to get a Subway, but they had no gluten-free bread. So instead I have some fries. Very viable alternative because there's so much I can eat. Mmm, how nice. Well, we have a train up on the board here that is listed as terminating at 1915, which is going to be our train to take us to Newcastle. And funnily enough, it's also going to be Lumo. My first ever Lumo service. Well, here's our train. We are reserved in coach B, which is behind us right here. But uh, the train isn't due to leave for about another 40 minutes or so. So the train's not actually open yet. We'll have to wait for that. <laughs> well, yeah, Lumo. Here we are. Let's uh, see how it goes to Newcastle. Oh my. Okay. So they've got they've got reading lights. And then it extends yeah. out like this. Oh, that's quite cool actually. I've not seen well. I've not seen. I've seen this before on the yeah. refurbed Avantis, but I've not but seen a reading light before. That is, that and is it's two new. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that's Very new. Cool. So we, funnily enough, were actually reserved. Well, we obviously reserved seats on this, but we were reserved in seats that had literally no view at all. But thankfully, we've uh, snagged two miraculously available seats on this train with a window view. Thankfully. So as we watch the train come in this way, we're hoping that it's going back out the same way and that this side is the side with the views. Of the sea? Yeah. Hopefully. All right, well, <laughs> I'm getting blinded <laughs> by the sun. But uh, yeah, so time to go to Newcastle. And then Haymarket from there. <laughs> 
I'm honestly quite a fan of the uh, seats on these trains, as far as IETs go. I feel like they're quite well padded. So one of the main good things about Lumo is that it's a budget uh, TOC, and well, we paid six fifty for our singles between Edinburgh and Newcastle with a rail card. So that, that's pretty good. Like I would say, it like, was like two days in advance or something we booked it. Um, yeah, something like, like very, very yeah. close to the time. Yep, I can in fact confirm we are on the right side for the uh, views of the sea. Oh, wow, how, uh, how reflective. My neck hurts. <laughs> Mine too. So we just passed Burnmouth there, and this was where the East Coast Mainland enjoys the coast. Fun enough, it's the coast. And so a year ago, yesterday, we at, me and Nick actually walked between Eyemouth, which is a bit further up, not on the East Coast Main Line, but between there and Berwick. We have some lovely photos, and we actually saw the LNER Together train for the first time on its debut outing there oh, as well. Oh, was, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah that was lovely. I actually forgot about that. Yeah. It was great on its debut as well. It was perfect timing. There's also the uh, bridge where, fun fact, my channel banner was taken. Berwick upon Tweed is so beautiful. <laughs> I've not been. I've been there once, but not for very long. It was um, yeah, to catch a bus for our walk. Funny enough. Yeah, for that walk we I, mentioned. I've been there a couple ago. of other times, but oh, it's, it's so nice walking around the the walls of the. The town, and then up to the lighthouse as well. It's, it's, I need Please to take, take you there. Please take me back. Yeah, I'll take you Please back. Take Don't me worry. Back there someday. That'd be great. I'm not sure why Lumo does call it Morpeth because I thought they call specifically at stations that are fairly near airports. Yeah, we got to Morpeth about six minutes early, so we've been sitting here for uh, a few minutes. But uh, yeah, we should be moving in a moment. Well, we're getting to uh, Newcastle fairly soon. For the first time on Lumo, I'd say, yeah. It's fine. I've just never used Luma before because its calling pattern has never really aligned with my needs before. But, you know, the one time I actually need to travel between Edinburgh and Newcastle, may as well take off a new TOC. So, yeah, cool. There's Lumo. Well, here we are now in Newcastle. Thank you, Lumo. <laughs> Another TOC done, so now um, we're not actually very far from Haymarket. We're going to head to the metro of Central Station and we're going to go to Haymarket from there. Yeah, off to the metro, <laughs> or however they call it here, I'm not sure. The thing is with these, they don't actually have like return tickets, you can only get like singles or day tickets. I mean, oh, you, yeah. you've got the pop card. Indeed. But pop card blue, 21 and under, 220 max, one pound for a single. Recommend getting it. Yeah. I mean, I've, I keep forgetting to, and I keep having to buy these paper tickets. <laughs> you, you've done the smart thing. So it is just two stops to Haymarket. Well, I don't, I don't know which line we're going to get, whichever the next yeah. train that turns well, up. Both, both, lines, both lines intersect at Central, so either one. Either one. Two stops to Haymarket. Every like seven minutes, I think they show up. Right, yep, metro time. I think this is only like the third ever video I've featured the metro in somehow. Don't know how. Anyway, it's only two stops to Haymarket. It seems so odd because earlier this morning we were on the Glasgow subway and now we're on the Tynwood Metro. <laughs> And now we're leaving Monument. Next station's Haymarket. Yep, 
The Haymarket Tiny Way Metro. Just like that. Brilliant. We made it. We did it. Funnily enough, also, I think this is my first ever time here where it's not been exit only <laughs> due to an escalator fault. <laughs> it's kind yes. of funny. Oh. But yeah, so, Haymarket to Haymarket Tyne and Weir Metro. I think this is the first one I've done that features a metro station, I'm pretty sure. First of many, I hope. Ho hopefully, hopefully, that'd be cool. <laughs> also, your first ever one, isn't it? Yes, you've yes. all done them without me, no, I'm kidding. I'm sorry, but okay. I'm, I've been doing oh. other things yeah. Specifically uni, but... <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. But, yeah, so, hope you enjoyed, and, uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye. Bye. And, of course, a huge shout-out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel.